a question that has come in. Glad I found your channel. Thanks. Glad you found it too. Hey. And uh, thank you for taking emails. Yep. Uh, do you think the Penguin will ever be a big bad in a Matt Reeves Batman, or will he always be a mid-level gangster with other members of the Rogue Gallery being the main bad guys? Thanks, and may the force be with you, Anastasia. So, Scotty, I'm going to start with you. What do you think? Do you think Penguin could ever be the next Riddler, or is he always just going to be kind of like... I love maybe this question. Not, yeah, maybe not like a, a secondhand villain, but, you know, not... The big, big bad. The Penguin is that character that's always been crapped on. His parents crapped on him. His whole life, he's been like the outcast. That's why he does all the things he does. And we talked about it, I think, last week about how the Riddler is going to do that same thing, dude. He's just a pawn in the Riddler's game. So I really could see. And I mean, not for nothing. They cast Colin Farrell. Er, yeah, Colin Farrell. So we can't like that can't be understated. The dude transformed his entire body for this role. I think it would be very cool if Penguin's one of the first ones just bing bang taken out real super quick, put in jail, locked up, and then has a come up. Uh, I really liked his come up in Gotham, the show. And I think that maybe they're like kind of using the hype of that character in the show. And maybe the storylines kind of align a little bit here. Um, and they're, they are doing question, a Penguin though. HBO awesome. Max. A Penguin HBO Max show is also coming too. Uh, you can't that's forget it. that. Steve, what do you make? Well, I said last, I think I said last week that I feel like this Penguin's kind of at the tail end of his, you know, the twilight years of his, uh, of his career uh, as a monster. And Scotty, you said it great that, you know, if he gets arrested, if he gets locked up, then you know, what's next for him? Well, he's got to rebuild his life. He, you know, he's been on power. He's been in power for so long, got taken out by Riddler, got, you know, pushed aside. So that's what could lead into the HBO series is that, you know, him trying to, trying to matter again, trying to become relevant, trying to take back what was taken from him. So I could, I could see that. What if I'm they uh, take a go. part out of like Marvel and how they're tying all these shows together. So I could see the, uh, the other show, the Gotham PD show ending with his escape. No, so it's not a bad idea. You know, I love that they're doing this uh, HBO Max universe because it is just giving me deja vu with the animated stuff. Like their animated stuff, they crush, and all the stuff that's related, even the stuff that's not. Like, call me crazy, but Ninja Batman, top tier, <laughs> dude. Lord <laughs> Joker. If you guys have not seen Ninja Batman. It's a cartoon animated version. Yeah. Plenty of plenty of places. It's very easily found. Um, mm -hmm. But you guys should watch that if you're DC fans. It's amazing. <laughs>